Uh, love is kindness. Love is patience. Love is selflessness. Love is hard work. Um, love is... Love is friendship. Love is beautiful. Love is... Love takes time. Love cares. So in 2018, we finally got a doctor who was willing to take a discovery surgery to mm. confirm endometriosis because that, that became like the... Thing. Yeah, it Quote was like, quote. it's the only thing that we can think of that can explain, but the only way to know is, is to do a surgery. surgery. Yeah. Like, so you're doing a surgery to discover, so you don't even know what you're looking for. You're just going with a torch and just... Look. Yeah, so in 2018, we finally found someone who would do the surgery okay we did the surgery it confirmed endometriosis but now the location of the endometriosis still could not explain why All because right. the location doesn't it hasn't touched any of the reproductive like system so now fine we have a name but there's no explanation so yeah. i remember and i remember that doctor writing he re he wrote unexplained infertility no Hey, so you are at this point, okay, so you're like, okay, what, like, I, I wish you could give me something to fight. Yeah, something that I can give me name something. it, yeah. so that I can work on Tell me work what it is it. so that yeah. I can start yeah. fighting. Yeah. Still, nothing. Nothing, unexplained. So now, and even that time, we can't say that we were really into faith. We were, oh. those guys were going to church, will pop into a car, cell group, a Got home you. cell, Got somewhere. You. Just. Got you. So now, this one is forcing, like, it gave me a very heavy conviction that God was trying to tell me something. Okay. So I think I got to a point where I was like, okay, God, I don't have time to do this. Like, I can't spend the next five years of you trying to get a message across to me. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it is you're trying to tell me, tell me now. Now. Like, let's not... Yeah, like, let's not do back and forth. You want me to be still? Fine, I'm still. Talk. Mm. So now during that period, I went to a lot of prayer centers and one of the places I came was actually the center. Really? Yes. And okay. it was at a very, very low point in my life. I remember that day I cried so much I couldn't drive. One of my friends had to drive because I was literally shaking. So we came, um, he wasn't there. I came with some friends and that day Pastor Julian was, um, he was preaching about Ezekiel and the okay. value of dry bones. Yeah. And I wasn't praying because I couldn't pray. Because mm. what you realize with infertility is it's a very, it's a very broken place to be because you feel like your body is failing you. And it's personal. Yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah. Genesis 1 said, go ye and feel the earth. Like, why, Kwani, you didn't hear what God said. Why yeah, are you failing? Yeah. Like, it's, even if you're told it's not you, you still feel like your body is not performing the one task that God gave you. Mm. So it becomes very personal. You blame yourself. You're wondering mm -hmm. what's wrong with mm -hmm. my body. Mm -hmm. Why this? And that. So it was a very broken place to be. Mm -hmm. So even that, that day in, in that worship session, I couldn't, I couldn't talk. I wasn't even praying. I just cried. And I remember Pastor Julian said, speak to your dry bones, tell them to come alive. And that's what I did. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This was Th this not was planned. <laughs> not planned, by the way, it was just... So I had a friend, wow. she was very she, she was very instrumental towards working with me with okay. that journey. So she'd hear there's a worship concert, I don't know where, come, come when let's go. There's a Kesha, wow. there's a Bible study, come, we go. Wow. So I found myself in all those places and I actually was going through my mm. diary that time. Mm. Where the faith that I had then, <laughs> yo. So do you think this actually, you said earlier that... Um, you are not so much in faith, but because of this, do you feel like your walk has changed? And I'll come into you, really, because mm -hmm. I want to hear your mm. story yeah. from the same, your perspective of the same story. Mm. But did your faith, Definitely. the trajectory, did it, it change? It was never the same. It was never the same. It was never the okay. same. Because, and I tell this story a lot, and my analogy is, I felt like at that point, God was, like I was a child with dirty hands. Mm -hmm. And I was telling God, my father, I want to eat. And he's like, come, I wash your hands. And me, I'm like, no, I want to eat like that. 
It's like, imagine if I give you this food with your dirty hands, it's going to make you sick. And the Bible says that uh, the blessings of God maketh rich and add no sorrow. If I give you this child in your condition, it's going to be your undoing. And you, this is a life I'm entrusting wow. to you. I cannot give you in the condition that you are in. Wow. I need you to build the capacity. Wow. So come, I help you build it. I'm not even telling you to build the capacity by yourself. Wow. Come, I build the capacity for you. So I placed myself in those situation. Okay, fine. What are you saying? Say, I am listening. So I, I, I found my faith going from level to level. So even by the time, and I remember giving the testimony when I was eight months. Was it eight months pregnant? Yes. Mm. And I looked like I had the most faith that you have ever seen mm -hmm. in a human being. No. But it's, it's just a level. And I, even Paul said, like, you can't be a little child. Mm -hmm. You can't always be in this little baby faith. After you, milk, have, you have to yeah, you have this, yeah. the levels. So I was yeah. always at this milk level. And like, comfortable. Yeah, and everything comfortable. was working. Like, yeah, what? Was working. Why do I need married, to work? Yeah, like, see, we are good. Until mm -hmm. now. Until, boom, yeah. Challenge. Okay, so I'm like, okay, clearly this is not working. Oh, wow. So with time... And we are still in that because it's never a destination. Still, Faith is not yeah. a unless we get to heaven. That's the de destination. So every day is a journey. That's okay. why we are even out here trying to make sure the next next person knows that this is, it could go like this. Okay. And you can't do it as two people. A marriage is between three people. Gotcha. You can't leave this other third person and expect oh, wow. it to work. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. yeah. So William, tell me your perspective of all these things happening. You all have a plan. Yeah. Plan's not working. I was in denial all along. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, married at 26 years. There's still time. Why are we hurrying? Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Okay. For yeah, me, I love this. He actually used to tell me a lot. I I love love <laughs> no, I love this because it's good to get a man's perspective on also this because it's it affects both of you, mm. but affects you very, very differently. Very differently, yeah. Because... As I feel like, Wangeshi, what you've also mentioned is it defined you. Mm. And there are a lot of people out there who are being defined by certain things. Mm. Um, and so, so, as well as men, you know, you're all running, holding on to this thing because it's a definition. I'm in marriage, I'm being defined by giving birth. Mm. Mm. That I am not a fool or a total woman until <laughs> I give I birth. birth. And for on the side of the men, it's you and we busted this myth earlier in terms of provision. Mm. You are the provider, you are the father. But I love this. Continue with your story. I want this genuineness <laughs> of just this time, but this time. Yeah. So okay. what, what she said earlier uh, about marriage and expectation. You know, you've watched these movies. People, you know, happy, uh, happy ending. Mm -hmm. There's a baby. People. Mm -hmm. The movie ends. People are happy. And you know, we've been brought up with that mentality that marriage and weddings, it's obvious for them to happen and children are obvious to, to actually get until we got to this situation and I realized it's not obvious. Oh, wow. It's not obvious. It's actually God who uh, g grants children. So for me, um, I used to go to church, but I, I wasn't that, my faith wasn't in a level that is right now okay. in believing that it's God who provides. Okay. It was still, you're young, you know, it will come when mm -hmm. it comes. Mm -hmm. You don't need mm -hmm. to pray. You know, it's, people have had children. I've not seen any issue. Yeah. So what's, what's the hurry? Yeah. And for her, you know, it's another story completely. For okay. her, she's, she's you know, she knows uh, the, the impact and she wants a baby. So for me, I didn't see the big deal. I was like, no, me, I'll support you. Wow. We'll move through this pole pole. When the baby comes, uh, she'll come. Until we visited our pastor, Pastor George, and, you know, he explained that, you know, all these um, fruits, they come from, from God. God. And he prayed for us and we believed. And then further to that, he kept on telling me, William, you need to pray for your wife. Mm. You need to pray for her. And every Sunday I would place my oh, wow. hand on her belly and just pray for her. Oh, wow. There are photos that, are, that we have just, you know, praying for her and telling God, uh, unlock Wow. So, mm. so declaring the, as a priest, as a mm. priest of the house, of the house. Yeah. Oh wow. And you know, it. it <laughs> I was moved from you know not believing that God is the mm. answer to everything, that life is obvious, life is guaranteed, mm. to you know we actually living, holding on a string. Like you need to utilize every single day you you have, and if you really want to know that you know 
God, God is there and God sustain us, just put an alarm clock near a dead person. You see whether it will wake him up. It won't. It's God who gives us life. Mm. Um, the baby we were given, it's God who gave us. And that has really wow. lifted my faith um, wow. in a completely new level. We are serving in church. You were not serving before? The, yeah, just, we weren't. You were just we were. attending. Yeah. Tell me, when you all are going through this challenge mm. of, you know, you're here in fertility, quote unquote, um, I think what I really hate is how the doctors wrote, gave it a name. Mm. You know, there are sometimes the power of names, eh? There are things that now you're like, really, like, we would have, if it was a name we were looking for, we would have prayed towards that name. Yeah. On Doahi, you know. <laughs> but then now it's, we don't even know. The doctor doesn't know. And granted, there are no absolutes in science. And mm. some things just happen. Mm. But tell me, do you think you would be in the same place of faith if you never had a child till now? Hmm. I don't know. If I'd still be holding on to the same faith, mm -hmm. if I was still waiting, mm -hmm. if I was still awaiting yeah. womb. To be honest, I think, I think I would be deeper. Okay. Probably because, I don't know whether it's the right way to put it, but because I don't have a choice, like, you all have like, God. This is where you're This is this all God. This, this is, is what I was You are all have God. Okay. Like, I'll keep waiting because what am I going to do? I'm only going to steal someone's child. Mm. Like, mm. I'll wait for you. I, what choice do I have? Mm. I'll keep going through that wilderness. The time you decide it's going to be right. And I'm sure it would not have been a straight path. It's not like every day I wake up, I have faith, 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 faith and we are good. It, there would be days I'd be angry. Even in, that, in those situations, there'd be days I'd be angry. Um, I'd go yeah. for like a week without praying. Yeah. And then something happens. Then I get this this deep sense of, of, of faith and, and now we are going oh, good wow. until the next thing happens. Because you know you would go somewhere and then you'd, someone would ask you, hey, una maintain figure, watoto wanakuja lini? And then that one takes you on a different path altogether. Oh, wow. Then you go listen to a someone that gives you all this faith and then you go back. It's never a straight path. And the whole journey actually gave me a lot of kindness to towards women mm -hmm. in... Whether, I, whether you have a child or not, it's not my place to ask. Got you. Got like, you. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like there's a Unless journey you're you going offer, through. Mm. Yeah. 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 Unless you offer the information, right. I won't pry. All right. Because you don't know the person you're asking and where they're at. You might All be right. their break. Like you might ask something that, will, that will, something will snap. And I don't want to be that for you. Okay. I like that. So I think if I was still in that place, mm. Mm, it wouldn't be a straight path, but God would have been be all I've got. Like, it is okay. what it is. Did you all ever consider splitting? Based on the infertility or yeah. an, uh, other or stuff? Or maybe other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Several. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Specifically to infertility? I think my frustration, it wasn't really splitting up, okay. but I think my frustration was, I kept hearing, even if no one was saying, mm. I kept hearing, you have a clock. And okay. with endometriosis, that's what happens. Because yeah. you, your, your reserve, your reproductive reserve for eggs goes like this. That, yeah, yeah. Like it's guaranteed that you are on this kind of... So the fact that he's not in a hurry, and I know I'm on a <laughs> clock, You're I'm like, like my friend... Please. Aki, Aki, I would like to work with your timeline. Like, no, you roho something. <laughs> but please. Uh, I'm like, I don't know whether to, to visit a donor bank or something. But yeah. Wow. I think there's a point I actually got. I was like, I, I don't know whether I ever told you this is going to yeah. happen with or without you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I think I told you that yeah. this is going to happen with or without you. So you better get wow. on board. Wow. Wow. Okay. No, it's it's the it's the reality mm. of heated <laughs> conversations. Let's mm. not call them argument. <laughs> but sometimes you're at that place of what happens. What you know, I've I've got to help God. In yeah, this. I have because we need to help God in this. Yes. Um, because I feel like there are couples out there, uh, you know, and several couples, not just a couple out there that is at the place where they're considering 
man, maybe we made a mistake. Mm. Maybe we should not have been each other's partners. Like, mm. maybe we were just good friends. We should have just stuck at being friends. Mm. That all this is coming because we got married. Because there's the saying that when you get married, things just, yani, people just flourish. Yes. Right? When you get it's married. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's an internal whisper there. Yeah. You know, there's that thing. So single people looking in, they're like, they want to be married, yet there are married people out there saying, we want out. Like, it was, this is not what it was. It's not, it's not what I expected. Mm. Yeah. Um, faith crisis. Did you have a faith crisis? This challenge, any other challenge? Did you have a faith crisis? Like, Uyo Mungu, this is not, God is not for me. Or I'm not, I'm not doing church for a while. Mm. I think the faith crisis for me was at the point of uh, faith. So I, I, I used to see like faith is trusting in God and God alone mm -hmm. and not trusting in medicine and people. So for her, you know, she did a number of rounds, as she's explained, yeah. a number of hospitals trying to find a solution. And I was like, you know, I wasn't supporting her because mm. I was like, no, let's trust on God, in God. Mm. Well, it's either or. So for it's me, either or. Yes, I get you. Yeah. I get you that God, God can't be used in the science. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. Can. Okay. Okay. So it's either or. It's trust either God or. Holy. Mm. Stop even doing those runs. Yes. Mm. <gasps> okay, that can be quite a conflict. That was quite a conflict. <laughs> Did you ever have to get him checked? Like. I know people who are like, hey, okay, we have done all my tests, and we will start. Come do your checks. Yeah, he, it was a struggle. I think it was a long period of pushing. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So I was boxing God, in short. I was just putting God in a box. Like It's either you give wow. me a child or I'm out. Yeah, either I go science yeah. or I go you. It's either I go science or it's you. So and if but I go science, let's... I'm out. I'm out. Mm -hmm. Yet God <gasps> is also in the science. So my, my faith was shaken a bit. Yeah, um, because now you're here, like, okay, I need to support, be a supporting husband. Yes, and... Okay, that's tough. Mm. That's tough. Mm. But you never felt pressure, never felt... Like, time, you had time. For me, I had time. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I had we time. We <laughs> two very different two places. Different yeah. places. Yeah. And it happens. I get, yeah, you're two different adults. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. You know, that mm -hmm. you're all trying to align. And at the end of the day, as you said rightfully, mm -hmm. there are three people in marriage. Yeah. And what we forget is we need to align to God's purpose and God's will mm -hmm. for our lives as, as the two individuals because he's the one who knows where you intersect beautifully. Mm -hmm. Yet sometimes we help him. True. We're like, no, ni hapa, sio, hapo. <laughs> like, <laughs> we are good at intelligence, yeah. not from spiritual matters. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I like, I like this. So in terms of, so now testimony comes, you know, later on, baby is born. Mm. Did, your, did your definition or expectation of child marriage, the struggle you went through, mm. did that change for you? Like... Did you feel I'm now a different Wangeshi because I've gone through the weight? Mm. Do, are you overprotective over your child? Are you... Definitely. <laughs> I, I, are you at the place where some will is like, okay, now let's stop idolizing the child. Let us yeah. idolize the father who gave you the child. We are there and I, I actually, because women, we are very good at having conversations with yeah. ourselves in yeah. our heads. Yeah. I have to constantly keep telling myself, this child is not the center of your universe. Got you. Because I will tell you, in my list of priorities, even my my money making, like my mm -hmm. my my work and everything, it comes hukuchini. My wow. child is up here. Wow. Like it's so bad that wow. It even like the making of her food <gasps> is still. I have a very hard time letting someone else take over matters wow. for the baby. <laughs> okay, till and today, it, it's a it, process. It, is, it comes very naturally <laughs> until some point I'm so tired and I'm wondering, mm. <laughs> Like, 
Okay. Yeah. So it's a process. It's, a it's process. an ongoing. <laughs> it's an ongoing process. All right. But slowly, I I try very very much to self correct. Okay. To kind of catch myself, I'm like, wait, you need to apple. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. You need to let someone. Let's. Let's mm-hmm. Yeah. That you're both parents yeah. to this child and not only one of you. Yeah. <laughs> so even like when, when she gets hurt. In my head, I, I am fussy. I would love to fuss, but I'm like, imagine, she's a child, she's gonna get hurt. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, it just let her be. She got hurt the other day, mm. and he really fussed. <laughs> and I think he was surprised that I didn't fuss as much. I'm like, it's, it's okay. He it wasn't fuss. <laughs> let, let him fuss. <laughs> He's the daddy, let him fuss. Yeah. In laws. In laws. What? How did that play? Um, they've been really supportive. Yeah. Yeah, they've okay. been really supportive, but it's because we also created boundaries. Mm. Yeah. So we said you cannot cross this boundary. Uh, just let us be for this moment. We are going through a phase. Yeah. Um, you don't need to help us. God is helping us. So we had to manage wow. them and tell them this is our boundary. Uh, don't interfere because they had already started interfering. Uh, what's oh. going on? Is there a problem with childbearing? all of that, and they even started uh, trying to make a committee for prayer, oh. ETC. So we said, we just. Are, we just just hold, We it will be okay. So we had to ensure that there's a boundary that you're just protecting ourselves yeah. from influence and pressure that comes from uh, in-laws. I like that. Yeah. So tell us, someone going through the same situation, what advice would you give the church, community, friends? What do we do? Because I've had a few things. There's, you've talked about in-laws, which mm. covers family, like create your boundaries and just say, as family support us, mm. but just let us go through this process. Mm. What do you think as friends and church community, or just community as a whole, what should we have done better during that period? Um, number one is to listen. Okay, active listening. Active listening and not, people become very good at offering you solutions. Mm. And solicited advice. Are you having? Have you tried guava leaves? <laughs> have you? T- <laughs> so you and tried to a, hold it. No, I I, I tried to I hold it. I really did. Guava leaves is okay. a thing. Okay. Have you tried marubaini? He doesn't know this, but I got a lot of like even Christian oh, women wow. telling you. There's even somebody who told me something about what was it I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Something you should do in the bedroom, yeah. positions, all <laughs> yeah, these different like, things. Oh and my then goodness. you get people telling you, you need to relax. I'm like, if I had to relax, I'd be on kid number 13. If it's about relaxing. Unsolicited advice mm. and just, just listen. If I want to talk, like create an environment where you feel unjudged and not walking on eggshells. That's another thing. Okay. Like you don't get invited to baby showers. Oh. When somebody gives birth, they don't know whether to call tell you, you or not. not. Tell like you. people are walking on eggshells because had you come at a good trigger. Like oh, you get. You're kidding me. So you just want us to be us. Just be you and the way with kindness. With kindness. Mm. Just, that hey, yeah. Wageshi, I'm having a baby shower. Do you mind? Do you mind coming or not? Mm. Do you mind me adding you to the group yeah. or not? And like, if I say no, don't It's catch. fine. Mm. Let's let's let you. Yeah. Do. Yeah. Okay. I'm single. Your advice from a guy side. Mm-hmm. What should I be looking out for if, as parting shots and as a girl side expectations? What should I be expecting getting into marriage? Mm. Mm. Just serve God. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Just be in the presence of God. Okay. Uh, and God will answer your your desires. Okay. Um, I think we underestimate what God can do in our lives, even including marriage. Mm. Uh, so being in service and being in the presence of God and just praying uh, will somehow assure what mm. is what is ahead of us. He has better plans for us. Uh, as also you you know you you're trusting in God. Uh, just ensure that you look for somebody who has a vision and also believes in God because then, you know, marriage <clears throat> marriage, and, uh, you know, being an institute of God, the word itself gives, give us a, gives us a, a manuscript or a blueprint mm. where, you know, we, we go back and align on issues. Mm. 
So if then find somebody who's not a believer, mm. you know, it will be hard for you. Be hard. So for oh, me, wow. yeah, and then okay. fi- just ensure you're not isolating yourself. You're out there. Hey, Apple, mm. <laughs> make, re- re- repeat. make yourself repeat. available. <laughs> Isolation, no. Isolation, no. Okay. Yeah. But then where are these men? <laughs> where, where, where are these single men? Because who are believers? Because me, I feel like they've isolated themselves. Someone the other day, I was on a call with a, with, with a good guy friend of mine, mm. um, and he, he asked the same question to someone in the Bible study. And the person just said, want to watch Netflix. They're somewhere at home. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I ask, where are these Christian men? <laughs> they are busy finding their partners. <laughs> And uh, identifying themselves and reflecting. Hey, you them. It is well, oh. <laughs> they should tell you, then we know. Yeah. All right, expectations. I'm single. What Ex- should I be? Expectations. I think not having expectations. Because <laughs> trust you, me, having expectations is setting yourself for disappointment. Because nobody's going to match them. Because they are not you unless you're marrying yourself. Like, Ooh. are you going to clone faith and gotcha. marry faith? Gotcha. So whatever expectation they are going, so you the have, list. yeah, like, they'll only meet, like, a third. Should I throw the list? Just should throw I the list. list. Don't just the pray list. about the list. Don't pray the list. Because <laughs> that is God, that is you helping. You're helping God. God with the plan, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're like, God, so I want a tall, dark, and handsome. And then he needs to have masters. Mm, Okay, okay. And then Sawa. God is like, hey, okay. why? Okay, I have, yeah. been, I have been Chara's one. Yeah. <laughs> but no over and above that yes. is don't be, don't be afraid to ask the hard-hitting questions. Mm. And not okay. just to the person, yeah, even to yourself, to yourself. Beginning with yourself. Got you. Because you are out here looking basically for a fully formed man. <laughs> are you the fully, fully formed, formed woman? woman? That he's finding. Yeah. Can you I date yourself? Can you? Would, oh. you, would you date yourself? Okay, I know. I said would that you I was marry? coming to learn. <laughs> <laughs> would I marry myself? Would you I'd marry be bored <laughs> if I married myself. I think I'll be bored if I married myself. But oh well. Conversation for another day. <laughs> Dating. Mm. ETC. Mm. But thank you so, so much. I, I, yeah. Like, thanks. I have... I have learned lots. I probably will be calling you on speed today <laughs> soon. No, thank you. Yeah, because yeah. there's a balance. You all have covered career, serving, now serving, um, but just going through marriage. It's it's not always rosy. It's not always peachy, mm. um, fam, as you've had here. Um, but God is a God who is about his people. Like, you know the way... I love, okay, I love the verse that I'm about my father's business, but Mm. I also believe that God is about our business in terms of the detail, in terms of where he wants to see us, um, and in terms of just the purpose that he has in each one of us. So I pray that y'all have been blessed by this story. Y'all have gleaned something. Y'all probably need to share it with somebody who you know. You know who you need to share it with. (laughs) So share it. Um, but feel free just to reach out if there's anything that you, you just want to say, hey, Mageshi, Willi, Yani, you guys have just, you've blessed my heart. I Thank you. Thank you for sharing something that most people are not willing to share. Um, and thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank thanks for, for coming. So. Thanks for your willingness um, <laughs> yeah. to come. I appreciate it. Asante ni sana, 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 sana. We've had fun. <laughs> we'll be back. All right. <laughs>